Yeah, I need to hit rock bottom, man, but I don't need to. I don't need. I don't need to hit rock bottom. So it's a Sunday morning, and uh, Mark's having his normal moment of superish clarity, where he reflects on his life and how bad it is. He actually looks at things through a superish lens. Mark, my words, said he seemed to have these moments of epiphany first thing in the morning, and they're quickly drowned out through in the day. I want to stop before I do it, the rock bottom. If I were to carry on gambling, then I might hit rock bottom. But I need to stop before I get to the rock bottom. Actually, Mark, I don't think you should give up gambling. Because let's face it, you don't do nothing that's any, like, good for you. That's the only voice you have which really isn't affecting your physical health. So if you stop gambling, I think you just drink and eat more. I need to stop before I hit the rock bottom. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not at the rock bottom yet, but... I'm getting close, but I want to stop before I get there. I, I, shall I go and sub it, sub some phone, iPhone, MacBook? Shall, shall oh my God, the, the same script plays out every single day, doesn't it? What? I sometimes what people ask me why I even bother commenting on it. I'll be stuff off in the next three months and just gamble it all away. I hit rock bottom on Christmas Day. Cry my eyes out on Boxing Day. No. I've got to stop today, mate. I mean, I'm very lucky, mate, because I've got a roof on beer. And I've got some food in the cupboard, so I'm very grateful. But I, I, I like how he always compares himself, like, his fortunate side to the lowest ends of humanity who are basically homeless and knew where to live, no food, which isn't like a very small percentage of society. Take what I've got he looks at that as a positive outlook. There's always somebody worse off than you. So yeah, oh. I'm gonna pack this nonsense in. This is not nonsense. I've been calling it nonsense for a long, long time. Stop before it gets worse, Mark. Stop before it gets worse, Mark. At least if you turn it around, you, you, you could be a successful one. But not many people out there are. People really do hit rock bottom. So you need to hit rock bottom for you to stop, which I'm going to stop now anyway. Yeah, I need to fucking stop, mate. I need to stop. Oh, God. I need to have a break off the alcohol. Yeah, I'm going to have a break off the alcohol as well. So I'm drinking out of fucking boredom. I'm drinking out of fucking boredom. Life's a fucking mess at the moment. A mess. It's like open up a tin of uh, spaghetti. My life's a fucking mess. And I've got a bit of steak left for my side. Alright, mate. Oh, you're hungry. Oh, little fella. Oh, you can wait. Wait, just wait there. I've got some. That, that actually proves my point. He does actually sleep in that jumper. I thought he did. I thought he'll he'll wear that jumper for the rest of the day. No, somebody's just slept in. Russell. Oh God! You need to stop gambling, Mark. You need to stop gambling. No, don't stop gambling. I told you. Keep gambling. It's the only pleasure you get, which is not affecting your physical health. 
He lost 80 pounds in the last week. So now, I, 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 I wish I had that 88 quid. Oh, for fuck's yeah, sake, 88 pounds. Now. Now, now I'm skint. Yeah, well, I'm sure some money will turn up somewhere. I mean, it normally does, doesn't it? I mean, let's be let's be honest here. Some money will turn up somewhere, no doubt. I don't know who this beneficiary is. Well, benefactor. But some some money will turn up somewhere. Mate. All right, mate. Sure. I've got a piece of steak here. Oh. Oh. Wow! Look at that head. Good boy. He's got to sleep in that jump. It's as dark in his room, so he's he's still in bed. Normally, you open the curtains first thing in the morning. He's got to sleep in that jumper. Oh well, I'm sure we'll get a live broadcast from Sanford Line this afternoon.